Hi gang and welcome to one last video for CGS 2518 Spreadsheets for Business. In case you've forgotten what I looked like since the opening video, I'm Ken. So this video is going to cover the exam review, exam 2. Exam 2 is going to be a little different from the first exam in format, so I want to make sure that I'm covering that and making sure you're comfortable with how it was. We tried something different in the first exam where we had the the first 15 questions were the multiple choice questions out of the book and then the 16th question was the Excel file. Well, that turned into be kind of a mess, so we're going to do it the way we've done it for years. The testing center wanted us to try that one time because they thought it might be easier on y'all, but it turned out it wasn't, so we're going to go back to the way it was. So, let me go into Canvas here. In our opening page, we've got an exam. Hey, look, there's an exam review right there. Click on that and then click on this, and here we go. So this is all about the exam. So this page is all about the exam, tells you when it is, where it is. It's going to cover modules five through nine, and the exam, while it's not cumulative in nature, you may be asked to do some things like we did in the first half of the class, where we had you sum something or multiply a couple cells, but you guys can figure that out. So there's two distinct parts of the exam. There's a part one and a part two. So remember on the first, we combined the first 15 multiple choice questions and the 16th question was Excel file. Now those are two distinct parts. The first one will act like a quiz and the second one will act kind of like an assignment, but we're gonna treat it all as an exam. So here on the exam review, notice the exam is still worth 200 points. You'll still have two hours to do it all. The first part, will be limited time-wise to about 45 minutes. I did a time study in the previous semester and most students were taking about 14 minutes, so I'm limiting that first multiple choice portion to about 45 minutes. That should be more than enough to answer 15 multiple choice questions, especially since I give you all the questions there in the back of the chapters of, of the book. I don't give you the answers, but I do give you the questions. All right, so for modules five, six, and seven, eight, and nine, Here's the chapters, chapter seven, chapters five, chapter six, and chapter 10. But in chapter 10, I'm only gonna ask you a couple questions since the others were all about XML and we didn't cover that a whole lot this semester, so I didn't wanna grill, grill you on it in the exam. And notice that module 10 is not on the exam since it was just an extra credit assignment. So let me show you actually taking the first part of the exam. So I'm gonna go here to modules, and here's exam two, part one. Once you sit down and log into your desktop out of the testing center, come in here to modules, click on it, and take the quiz. All right, so there's 60 questions, 15 points, 45 minute time limit. Uh, please note that you are allowed to use a blank Excel file for this part of the exam. You can either launch a blank Excel file using the Excel down in the start menu, or you can just open up your part two of the exam and create a new worksheet at the back and use it to, to mess around with if you want. I don't really care. You're gonna turn it in. We're not gonna look at, look at it or grade that part, so don't sweat it. After you finish this part, go ahead and go to part two and I'll walk you through that in a minute. So come over here, take the quiz, It'll prompt you for your password. Hold up your hand. Lovely Proctor will come by and enter in a code. Let's see here. And it will launch a 15 question multiple choice exam. So just come in there and there'll be uh, basically five questions out of chapters five and six four questions out of chapter seven, and one question out of chapter 10. I'm just clicking on these to get through them. I'm not sure if those are the right answers or not. I'm not taking the time for that. You can though, that'd be a good, good lesson for you all. So see, there's now just 15 questions. Go ahead and submit it, and then go on to part two. 
Now, if you're taking your exam out in the testing center, it'll be a little different than if you're taking it remotely. At the testing center, they'll have downloaded the starter file and put it on your desktop with a default name. If you're taking it remotely, you'll have to go back into modules, go into Excel 2 Part 2, hit the Exam 2 Part 2, and you'll click on this link here. I've got a little demo file here arranged for today. But you'll click on that, and then download it, put it on your desktop. I would rename it to your last name and first name. I don't care what you name it, because when we download all your exams at the end, it puts your name in it anyway. But just for your edification and for your clarity, go ahead and name the file last name, first name, so that when you're submitting it back into the submit button, you'll actually be able to find it easily. So I encourage you to copy it from your desktop copy it to your desktop originally by clicking on the link. It'll ask you for the password. Hold up your hand again. Lovely tutor will come by. This box will pop up and you have to hold up your hand and they'll come over and enter in the password again. Hit OK. And here's approximately what the exam looks like. There'll be three tabs here plus an extra credit tab. So the first one will cover chapters five, six, five and seven. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Notice the text. No elephant eating is allowed in the testing center, so there will be no elephants, huge, big, long, involved, nested, nested, nested formulas. So no big, long, hairy, nested VLOOKUPs inside matches, inside of VLOOKUPs, inside of matches, etc. If you can do the assignments, this exam will seem really easy. So let's take a look at what you're going to need to do for this one. So for this first one, I'll give you a bunch of data here. And I might uh, ask you to do a VLOOKUP over here in a column to do something. And then you'll have to create a pivot table out of this data. And then go in and create a pivot chart as well. And I'll give you detailed instructions on what I want you to do for each of the steps. You know, Do some stuff, do some stuff, do some more stuff. Um, save the file. You know, Go to File and then do Save As, go to this PC, Browse, Desktop. Again, I would probably, at the very first, first thing I would do would be to go in and call the name, uh, name your file, last name, first name. That way, Again, we don't care what you name it, but that way when you're going to upload the file, it'll be easy for you to find. So do everything on this sheet, then go to the next sheet. And this sheet will look pretty similar to uh, assignment six, the very first sheet where you had to do the cash flow statement for a few years. This one will be similar to that, except a lot easier. And I've filled out about half the formulas for you already. Uh, but don't worry, I will make you do a cumulative interest payment formula, so make sure you know how to use that one as well. So you'll do some stuff, do some more stuff, some other financial module 6 and module 8 stuff. Module 8 was data tables and the sum product formula, so know how to do some real simple stuff there. Again, nothing near as complicated as the assignments. I did this whole exam in like 14 minutes, so I would expect you to take at least 15 or 16, but no, actually I'm kidding, sorry about that. Probably not too funny, but uh, even if you take six times as long as I do, you'll, you'll still finish within the two hours. So I'll tell you what I kind of told you on the first exam review as well. You know, do your best, take a shot at it. If the formula is throwing an error, just take the equal sign out and we'll look at it and see that you made an attempt. Uh, we will give lots of partial credit, but you have to give us something to work with. So, so for instance, if I ask you to do a sum product formula in a particular cell and you don't get it right, or you know, just get close, we'll give you partial credit for at least writing the word sum product in the cell. If you leave it blank, we can't give you any partial credit. So. So on this one, the solver problem is pretty similar to the examples in Module 9. It's pretty similar to one of the assignment problems in one of the videos. Not exactly like it, but it's pretty similar. So if you watch all the videos in Level 3 and work through the examples, make sure you can do them. This page will be a breeze.
here's the summary of the problem. Make sure you read this thoroughly and understand it. Uh, then do some stuff in some cells, do some other stuff in some other cells, and then do a sum product formula, and then maybe save your model, do an answer report. You know, stuff we did in the assignment should, should be a breeze if you did the assignment. Now the PC that you're sitting at should have the solver model enabled, but in case you're taking it at a remote location, they may not have done this. So make sure you know how to do this. It's in the videos. Of course, everything is, right? Uh, but go up here to File, say Options, Add-ins, and then Excel Add-ins, Go. And here is the Solver Add-in. Hit OK. And now when you go to the data ribbon, Solver is up there on it. So make sure you know how to do that before you go into the exam, just in case. I have it set up out in the testing center, but uh, you always need to know how to do it. And then finally, we have the extra credit question. And there's five questions worth one point apiece. So over the course of the semester, this will get you up to around 60 extra credit points. So hopefully you take advantage of these five. So what's the name of the Seminole Indian leader that that one selected FSU student portrays at the various FSU events. Hopefully you know that. Chief Osceola. How many different FSU students have portrayed this famous Seminole? Hmm, well I'll show you how to find the answer if you don't know it. I think it's 16 or 17. What's the name of the horse he rides in on? Renegade, I hope you know that one. What's the breed of the horse? Appaloosa. Don't have to spell it right, just get close for us. And how many horses have had this honor since it started in 1978? So answer those five, and you're good to go. Then save the file. Go back in and submit it just like you do the assignments. Choose the file. Find it on your desktop. It should be up at the top. Submit it. And then you've got it turned in here. So you can see it there. Make sure that the file says download Armstrong Ken. That's the file that you hopefully submitted. Theoretically, you could download it and make sure that it's the file you submitted. But since it involves them entering the password again, I'm not sure if they'll allow you to do that out in the testing center. Um, you can ask. They might say yes. They might say no. But that's why I want to make sure that you name the file appropriately and, and submit the file that you want. All right. So that's me signing off for the semester. This will be the last video that I create, at least as far as I know, unless something else comes up. So I just want to thank you all again for working so hard this semester. I know this class is a lot of work, but it's worth it. This class will set you up to succeed in your curriculum and your career. And hopefully you learned lots of things in addition to some pretty gnarly Excel formulas. Do people say gnarly anymore? I don't know. I lived in L.A. for five years. That's about all I learned. That and awesome and excellent. All right, so you learned some big, long, nasty formulas, and you did really well at them. I know you worked hard. I know this class was a lot of work, but I thank you for your efforts, and hopefully as long as you get the 920 points, you'll get an A in the class. Uh, Again, just a word on how the points work at the end of the semester. Don't look at your percentage scores in Canvas. I try to keep those hidden because they just end up confusing students. All I care about is points. So if you have 920 points, that's an A. 900 points, A minus. 880, B plus, etc. Uh, I don't care what the percentages are because the percentages in Canvas include all the extra credit assignments and those end up jacking up the percentages. So just look at points and look at the syllabus to see how many points you're shooting for. All right, so I just want to thank you again for working with me this semester, and I look forward to seeing you in the halls of the business school or wherever you're around. Uh, make sure you say hi and introduce yourself. Most of you are online, and I didn't get the pleasure of working with too many of you, uh, and I always enjoy that. So. So best of luck to you, and I'll see you around. Go Knowles!